Hi guys, my name is Tess and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutritionist and in today's video I would like to tell you my experience with ISSA personal trainer course. Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that they are all doing great. So in today's video I would like to tell you a little bit of my review or experience with ISSA personal trainer certification. I started my certification I think back in September 2023. Currently is February 2024 so it was quite a long time ago but I have finished my course in November 2023 and first I would like to tell you why I decided to enroll in a CPD course. So so my background is in business and marketing and I decided to enroll in ISSA course because of my passion for health, wellness and in general fitness industry and I always had on my to-do list or on my life goal to finish a CPT course so I would be able to help other people to achieve their goals. I also lost more than 20 kilos on my journey and I was basically just looking during my whole life for some kind of passions or for some meaningful way or some purpose to live by and I didn't see a lot of purpose or a lot of meaning in just sitting in an office working a nine to five job in a marketing field i really wanted to help people and i really wanted to be engaged in a job that will bring something positive in this world and that i can uplift someone and just you know support people on their journey so that's why i decided that i would like to become a cpt and another thing i could also tell you is why i decided to go with issa and not with for example the other companies such as ac or nasa or I don't know if there are any others but I think these three are the main ones and those three are the most famous one first I choose ISSA because I heard some positive reviews from my friends who were already enrolled in the course and I also read a lot of positive reviews online and also I watched some YouTube videos and I try to compare like the benefits of each of the association or of each of the companies who are providing CPT courses and why I decided to go with ISSA is because I really like their bundle. They were offering bundle with uh, nutritionist certification, CPT, and also high intensity interval trainer certification. And I didn't see any kind of good bundle that are the other companies offering. So that's why I mainly choose ISSA. And also ISSA is worldwide accredited. So I think your certification will be valid in all of the countries around the world. I'm also based in Europe and I know that in Europe, ISSA is well known and many people heard about the association. So I don't think that you will have any issues with accreditation around the world. But of course, you need to check with your state's regulations and what are the rules in the country you live in. And another thing what I really loved about ISSA was that they also provide an ongoing support. I hope on the chat with their assistant for enrollment and I talk with them about everything and they answer all of my concerns and all of my questions. Questions. So that's why I also was really grateful that when you are deciding between to take the certification or not, you still have someone on the chat who can explain you the process and how the things worked. And another thing why I choose ISSA was that they had live learning experiences and boot camps. And it was not only that you will sit down and you will read the whole book and then you will go and take your exam. When I see this approach in the other companies, ISSA was providing a live learning experience meaning that every week we had some boot camps and some Q&A sessions and then also every day Monday to Friday we had two hours of a live learning experience which means that the teachers or the educator were kind of going through the whole material in form of presentations and it was a really great opportunity what ISSA provided now I think that I could also tell you a little bit of the advantages and disadvantages of ISSA course. So I will start with some advantages I came across during my course. So like I mentioned, the biggest advantage was this live learning 
experiences and I think it really helped me a lot because I don't really like to just sit down and read the book and take notes although I do it but for me I really like to engage during the class and listen to someone who will explain in detail because I was totally new to the field like I mentioned I have background in marketing and in your personal trainer course you will um, you will see a lot of biology, chemistry, anatomy and I was really struggling with getting all of those concepts and I really needed someone to explain it and I really think that SSA has the best educators and the best professionals who are really great in their field they were working in those fields for many many years, 10 plus years so they are really the pros in their fields so that's why I really really like this experience also another thing what i mentioned is with accreditation i know that ssa is worldwide accredited so i didn't want to do course through the company which no one heard of before so i think that's also a huge benefit the third point is the flexibility that you can take this course fully online and you can study on your own pace but what i need to say is that you have six months since you enrolled to finish the course so you still need to think that yeah in these six months i should be finished it's not because issa said so because this is the standard in the fitness industry that since you enrolled you have the six months to take the exam fourth point or the fourth benefit is that you have lifetime access to all of the materials online and the learning hub or the platform where we had all of the materials there is so much information there is not only like the book there are a lot of tips how to be a successful personal trainer you have a lot of demonstrating videos showing you how to perform the exercising in the correct way then you have a lot of information about how to set up for example your web page your social media how to choose the insurance how to gain more clients and you have so much information on this platform so I think that this lifetime access to this platform is a really great benefit another thing what I wanted to say is that you have ongoing support we had the two different Facebook groups when I was studying for my certification and you have so much support there I mean if you are struggling with something you can just you know write a post in this Facebook group and you will find some people who just gets you and who understands you so I think that this ongoing support was really great we also had support from other educators and also like I mentioned before ISSA has chat where you can always hop on and ask any type of questions there is no wrong question so I think that all of these people will help you to clarify the, any types of problems or any types of questions you may have uh, another thing that I really like is that the book or the curriculum for this course is so wide you will find a lot of chapters for example about anatomy about exercise science about nutrition supplementation about personal trainer business in general so i think that this curriculum is very comprehensive and that everyone will find something that interests them in this curriculum and i think that you will all enjoy this course when you are a fitness enthusiast or if you are really into health and wellness another point what i wanted to mention is that you also have some practical examples how to build up your or how to design your own workout schedule or your own workout so i think it's really great because in these another companies when i was looking for some reviews all of the people say that they won't teach you how to build your own programs and issa has a separate course or like the subcategory in your hub where they are teaching you how to build your own workout programs another point is that during this course you will also gain some business skills as issa has a huge chapter about how to set up your business how to market yourself as a new fitness trainer like i mentioned how to build your website how to build your social media they give you a lot of tips and tricks how you can really start after you finish your exam or even before so i think this could be very beneficial for someone who is not from a business industry or someone who just works in a different field another point is that issa also provides a continuous education so that means that after you finish your exam you need to renew it every two years you need to do some kind of courses so you are updated about what's going on in your fitness industry because you really don't want to you know be a coach who took their exam 10 years ago and didn't do any kind of education throughout the years so issa has a huge catalog of the courses they are offering i will just check their website because i just don't 
remember all of them. You have some courses about strength and condition, bodybuilding specialist, corrective exercise specialist, online coach, glute specialist, weight management, health coach, obesity and diabetes management, wellness coach or no health coach weight management okay i needed to change my battery so what i was saying that issa is providing a lot of different certification and courses you can continue your education with and i think that when you will work on your cpt exam you will find some topics or some fields in fitness you would like to continue with for example i also find myself more in nutrition than for example doing a corrective exercises with people so i also find myself and i think that all of you will find your Yourself as well in many different fields even or in many different things you would like to do after you finish your CPT so I think it's really great that ISSA is providing you a different courses and also one point that is worth to mention is that ISSA is also providing you some job placement or something like that when you are based in the US they can help you to find a job or they have some gyms and some facilities they are associated with or they have some collaboration with so they can really help you to find a job after you finish your exam so i think it's also really great when you are from the us you have this opportunity okay and now we can move a little bit into some kind of disadvantages or the thing that you may be struggling with and the first thing is that all of the courses are self-paced. I wanted to say that this whole curriculum is divided into 10 different modules that could be finished over the period of 10 weeks. So you have some kind of schedule or you have some kind of pace you can follow, but it's only when you are enrolled in this live learning experience. I think that also they have some courses where you can decide not to be enrolled in this live experience i think so still if you are someone struggling with self-discipline or some motivation i think that also this live learning can be really beneficial for you as you can follow some kind of schedule but for someone it can be really stressful that you have i don't know this six months to finish and you know you are just postponing it and yeah i just think that someone may be struggling with motivation to finish the course as it's all online and you can read the chapters in your own time so i think it can be struggling for someone another point is cause that those kind of certifications are a little bit pricey but you still need to think about it as it is an investment in yourself in your health in your future and i never think about any kind of courses or education i took about being a cost i think about them as being an investment in myself you know so but i know that it can be a little bit costly for someone but also issa has some monthly payments so you can split the cost into i think 12 different installments so it's not that huge amount of money you need to pay at once what i remember my bundle cost around 900 dollars so it can be a lot for some people but when you think about it i had three different courses so one is around i don't know 300 is it a lot? I don't know. I also paid uh, around 300 for my yoga teacher certification, but I done it with a different company. So I think that this 900, it's not a lot for all of the knowledge you will have. And also this certification is for a lifetime. Also you need to renew it. But as I told before, this renewal process is that you will just enroll in some continuous education and you will just do other courses so you don't need to pay this 900 every two years so i think that's not a lot you know some of the people are paying a lot of tuition fees in their universities and you can even study something you are not passionate about so i think it is not a lot so it's like 75 dollars So I think that's not a huge cost on a monthly basis. If you want to, you can split it. So I think it's great. Also, maybe someone will struggle that you don't have any kind of in-person instruction on how to do the exercises. But as I said, you have a lot of videos, you have these live sessions, you have a Facebook group where you can upload the videos and get some support or some feedback on how you do the things. So I think it can be an issue for someone, but you know, we are living in a post-COVID world and everything is basically online nowadays. So 
I think we are used to it, right? When I'm also talking about this in-person courses, some people may find a lack in this personal networking of all. Like I said, we have this Facebook group and you can network with people from all around the world and you can also met some people who are located in your area so i didn't want to say that this is a disadvantage but it can be for some people that you really want to sit in a class listen to lectures and have some kind of networking but it is what it is i don't know how it works in another country but i know that we had some weekend courses where they will teach you how to become a personal trainer in like two days which is nonsense i don't think that anyone can be thought to be a personal trainer in two days so i don't know some in-person courses can be unlimited as well that's just my opinion and also now i'm thinking about another point what i said the disadvantage disadvantage for people in europe is that you may not have this guaranteed job placement and you need to be on your own and try to find a job in the gym but still you know no one guarantees you that you will be successful personal trainer after you take this exam or after you take this course so i think that you will become a successful trainer with experience in the field so yeah right now i'm thinking that i could maybe give you some overview of what you can expect during your course or what is covered in these chapters you will be studying so i will just take my computer what is this my baby backup I don't have a baby why is this app on my computer okay i'm back with my water there is a lime and a sparkling water inside very refreshing so let's see so the table of content is that you will have some chapters about health and fitness in general where they will tell you a little bit about the history of a personal training and also what is this industry all about then another chapter is about psychology of behavior change they will teach you different stage of changes and different kind of motivational process or how you can motivate your clients if they are struggling with uh, the motivation to change so i think this chapter was really nice then another chapters are a little bit about anatomy so you will have a chapter about movement system which include the nervous system muscular system skeletal system the joints circulatory system lymphatic system respiratory system endocrine system digestive system in i am not going to even try to pronounce this word it's is the system which includes your skin you know i am not going to try to pronounce it so yeah then uh another chapter which is a little bit uh hard for some people it was also very hard for me because it also is talking about the laws of motion and it was the concept of biomechanics it's a very important chapter and i think that you need to spend a lot of time to be able to fully understand it at least i know that a lot of people are struggling with this chapter then another hard chapter is energy and metabolism so you need to basically understand how the energy is produced in your body and what types of energy systems we have it's incredibly important to know and then you are moving into some interesting topics which are the client's assessment and various ways how you can assess the clients if they are like overweight or no and what like their body composition then the chapter elements of fitness they will teach you a basic concepts for example about uh, the core training the flexibility training the strength training cardiovascular training so you will have all of this concept very nicely explained then the chapter about the principles of program design like i said they will also teach you how to design your own workout of course and then the chapters are a little bit comprehensive about all of the different elements you learn so you will have a big chapter about flexibility training then about cardiovascular exercise then about resistant training then about chapter about how to select uh, proper exercises and proper techniques for your clients then another chapters are about nutrition and supplementations and then you have chapters about different chronic conditions and what types of exercise is 
beneficial for people with these conditions and also lifespan population so how to design exercise for youth or for elderly people for pregnancy and there is also chapter about business and marketing and the last chapter is about safety and emergency situations which is very important as well to be able to have the certification you need to have your cpr course you can also take it online through issa i also did the course is very short they will just teach you you know just basic things what to do when there are some emergency situations here are all of my notes i took during my course with issa and I wanted to talk a little bit about the exam and how I prepare for it. So, the first tip I would like to tell you is to understand the exam structure. The exam has 200 questions and it's a multiple choice exam. And it's all divided into a six different focus points or the six different domains. So first domain is anatomy and physiology. The second is kinesiology and biomechanics accounting for 15% and anatomy was accounting for 13%. Then there is health and physical fitness accounting for 18%, program development 17%, nutrition 20%, fitness for all 17%. So all of the six units will be in your exam. It's divided into these six units and all of them have some questions. So basically you need to pass I don't know like 70 percent so basically when you understand how many percent you should dedicate to each domain you can really study what is hard and what you really don't understand and also what i done was that i was reading the book and while i was reading the books i was doing the notes about everything important and then when i was studying for the exam i was studying just from the notes i didn't go back to the book i just focused on my notes and then after i was finished with my notes i did these flip cards where i put for example here like my handwriting is terrible like blood pressure and then you see like the answer and i just put the basic concepts about what is written in the chapters or what is really important so i just wrote all of the basic concepts on the cards and then i was just studying then another thing is to create a study schedule i really recommend for you that you will sit down and maybe plan ahead your week or a month you want to dedicate for studying so i was studying every day in the morning i think for two hours and then when i was free i was studying maybe like five to six hours a day and then i passed the exam i think in less than three months but i was also doing it continuously with my nutrition certification so but also it's just important to have some kind of schedule or some kind of routine you want to dedicate studying also what is really important there are some external sites where you can take some practice exams also it's not like 100 percent the same you will still see that there are some questions you can came across during your exam so i think it's also very nice that the internet is providing you some practical exams so you can just take it and you know just see where are your gaps or what you should focus more on so i think it's also great right now it was my memory card not the battery another tip is also that you should focus on your weak areas don't study all over for example nutrition if you understand it just for example study the things you don't really get such as i don't know these energy systems or muscular system or something so you don't need to spend a lot of time on things that you understand and another tip is that you should really take advantage from all of the material which is available for you such as like i said the textbooks or the boot camps or the live learning experience or the posts in a facebook groups or there are different kinds of articles online youtube videos there are just sites which are dedicated to do some kind of summary from all the chapters from different kinds of cpt courses so i think it's really great to also dive into those kind of external sites and maybe just take advantage of it and also what i remember that through issa you can download or you can like purchase this fast track which is basically like a guide or a program where you can finish your course i think it's designed for less than like four weeks or something but the main point is that you will have these pdf files where you have some key concepts and just the key information you really need to understand 
so it's also really nice i wanted to show you what i done i wrote all of the chapters down and everything what i wanted to do and then when i was finished i just highlighted so for example for the chapter one i always did like i want to start i want to read the chapter i want to study the chapter i want to do like flashcards i wanted to uh read the guide and then i wanted to do some key informations for what could be beneficial for the potential clients then i also wrote down all of the modules and their live learning then the five different boot camps and five different office, office hours then on the other side read all of the five domains from fast track and then i want to do these six different quizzes i found online then i wanted to take this program design course and then i also found some youtube videos from some doctors or educators that were explaining these concepts so i did two of those when i was studying for the exam and then i was just doing the regular studying so i was really trying to be organized and just stay on track and be positive and be confident about everything and then when i was doing the exam you might think i'm crazy yes i am i wrote down all of the questions and all of the answers and some of the questions i really didn't understand so after the exam I went back and I really studied it in deep, so I will be really prepared for the real world. But I will tell you, in some of the questions, I don't know, you had some, something like, for example, to choose the incomplete protein or what are high GI food or what are the primary muscle types in organs or I don't know, something about stretches during cool down what kind of blood cells are for example 40 percent of volume then there were some questions about marketing as well also about how what exercises are good for new clients or what is the differences between children and adults or i don't know there were a lot of questions but i think that when you will study you will definitely pass i think you have two different attempts i'm not sure but i think you have two attempts so i think that's 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 manageable and right now i'm thinking if there is something i forgot to say and also maybe what to do after you finish your certification i think that you can work as a personal trainer in different kinds of gyms and health facilities and I don't know hotels or something so i think that there is a broad spectrum where you can find your job but i think that i have covered basically everything what i wanted to say so if you have any types of questions or if you are struggling with something just let me know in the comment section down below and i can try to answer some of the questions you may have or if you are also enrolled in CPT through ISSA, please let me know what's your experience. This was it for me. I also filmed one video about my experience with uh, ISSA nutrition and certification. So I will try to link it somewhere or link it down below. So you can also go and watch if you are planning to be enrolled in nutrition course as well. So don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, comment down below and yeah, share it with your friends or anything. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys later.